Today we're going to talk about one less or the number before. So when we've been counting by 10, it's a lot easier to think about those numbers. We say one through 10 a whole lot. We've been saying, you've been saying those numbers since you were a baby. You've been practicing one through 10. So we can use what we know about one through 10 to help us when we're getting into some of those bigger numbers down here. So if I was to say, what's one less than six? You would know that you need to say five. It's the number right before six. If I had six and I wanna find one less, I'm gonna take one away and we get five. So we're taking one away, but we're saying the number that comes before it. So if I'm gonna use my 100 chart and let's say I need to find out what's one less than 76, I'm really gonna look at this. We call it the ones place. It's just like this six here. It just has seven tens in front of it. It has a 70 in front of it. So one less than six is five. And if I look at my big 120 chart, I'm gonna find 76. It's right here. And look at, it's a five after that seven. So the number that's one less than 76 that I need to put in here is 75. And we can use what we know about numbers like six and five to help us figure that out. Let's do another one. Let's think about what's the number that is one less than 43. What's one less than 43? I'm gonna think about this three right here. We can ignore, ignore that four for just a minute. That 40 part or the four tens, let's cover that up and let's think about three. What's one less than three? Here's our three. One less than three is two. For I can think about it, if I had three and I took away one, I'm left with two. So my number that's less than three is a two. But I can't just say the number before 43 is two. That wouldn't be right. I need to remember we were talking about 43. So our number will be 42. Let's erase this and do a couple more. And then we'll just look at our 120 chart and do some quickly. So let's do that again. We're gonna find out the number that's one less than, let's do 58. So if we're thinking about it, 58. I'm just going to think about that 8 for a minute. What's 1 less than 8? 7. But it wasn't just 8. It was 58. So I have to remember, I'm going to keep that 50 and go 1 less than the 8, which is 7. So 1 less than 58 is 57. We're going to do one more like this. We're going to talk about, um, let's do, let's do 60. These get tricky when we have a zero in the tens place, or the, I'm sorry, a zero in the ones place. It's not as simple as these ones. So if I think about zero, I really, I'm going to look at my 10. We need to think about the 10. Let me pick it up. It's pretty dark. One less than 10 is nine. This is just saying we have six tens or 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All of those that end in a zero, we're going to think about the 10 spot. And what's one less than 10? It's a nine. So I'm gonna change this to nine, but we've gotta be careful. It can't be 69. We have to go back one. Let me show you on the 120 chart. So here's my 60. We're going to change our 10 from a 6 to a 5. So I'm going to go back. 60, one less than 60 is 59. I had to change my 6 back down to, we call it the decade before, to 59. Let's think about this. If it was 80, 
what would we put right here? We would have to remember, go back like it's a 10, go back to nine, and we would have to go back with the eight as well, change it to 79. All right, so let's look at our 120 chart and do a couple this way. If you have your 120 chart handy, this is always a great reference. It's going to help you find the answers quickly. So we'll do some here and then we'll just do some in our brain. Let's see, what is one less than 47? I can move my finger back, 46. And again, I was thinking about that seven and moving it back to a six. All right, I'll point out a couple. What's one less than 72? Go back, 71. Again, two and one, just like our two and one up here. How about 95? 94, one less than 95 is 94. So if you have your 120 chart, it's easier to find one less. Find that number and find the one in front of it or before it to take one away. Sometimes you won't have your 120 chart though. Let me flip this over. I want you to think about the number 99. What is one less than 99? Ninety-eight is one less than ninety-nine. All right, I want you to think of the number that is one less than seventy-one. This one, if you think about the one, what comes before one? So here's our seventy-one. We need to go all the way back to this line in seventy. So there's nothing right here. I can't just go back. I have to go up into the next line. 70 is one less than 71. All right, next one. What is one less than 23? Twenty-three is one less is twenty-two. Again, thinking about that three making it one less, which is 22. All right, let's do one of the tricky ones that is a 10. What is one less than 30? Remember how we have to think about changing it to a nine? We're not gonna be 30s anymore. Here it is, 30, one less is 29. Let's do another one in the 10. Let's say, what is one less than 90? All right, here's 90. One less is 89. 90 and 89 are side by side. We had to change that zero to a nine and move back into the 80s decade. Okay, one more. Well, let's do a tricky tick one over 100. Let me think. I want you actually, I'm going to show my paper for this one. I want you to see if you can find it on the, on the number chart. And then find the number that's one before. What's one less than 117? Here's 117. One less than 117 is 116. All right, you have a smaller version of your number chart. You can always get that out and use it as you need to. You could also ask somebody to help you. You could say, tell me a number and I will tell you the number that is one less. Or you could be the teacher and you could tell that to somebody else. You could say, what's one less than 56 and see if they get it right.